Bob Duffy from Intel here, and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to create a VR experience using the Unreal Engine. Now, I know a lot of you Unity developers haven't moved to Unreal, and uh, it might seem daunting, but check this out. You, you may give it second thoughts here. You, at least you may want to try it. So what I have in the background here is the uh, Epic Games Launcher, and that's wh where you find the Unreal Engine after you install it. Once you launch the installer, you see this window here, which is a list of your projects, and then you can go here to new projects. Um, this is where you're going to find the blueprint templates for each game type. So first person, flying, puzzle, etc. They've added one here for virtual reality. Uh, this is really, really where you want to go. Don't do any of these others if you're creating a VR application. Start here because everything is automatically built in. Enter your project name and then create project. I'm going to go ahead and launch this one. Um, and it's just the basic template. There's nothing else to it other than um, I configured some of the windows for recording purposes. Uh, so I just set those preferences. Now, the cool thing about Unreal is that you can actually edit the scene, configure a lot of the items directly from VR. And I'll show you guys a little bit of how that's done. So this is the base template um, for it. So um, this level has loaded. Think of level like a scene in Unity. Um, and really all this is telling you is where to find the right template. So if you're using a VR HMD with gamepad options, you'd want to select this one. If you're using an HMD with motion controllers like a Vive or an Oculus, you'll want to do that one. And that's what we'll do. So it's giving us a directory here. If you look down in the directory browser, you can just follow that path. We'll go into virtual reality BP here, into maps, and then we're looking for motion controller map. All right, we'll do that. It'll launch that level or scene. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go right here into play for VR preview mode. Um, and I'm going to put on my HMD when I do this. And let me uh, grab my controllers. Get them in the right hands here. Okay, so I I'm gonna use the um, trackpad controller on my HTC Vive and that automatically pulls up the teleport here, which is really cool. So I'm gonna go over here, teleport right up to this area here. If I pull the trigger, both hands close, pull the trigger on this, look at that. It's got a grabbing function built in and all this stuff works. All the physics automatically work by default. So a lot of the things that you're going to want to do are already built into the template. So I would say start here first. The next thing I want to show you guys, which is I think really, really cool, is how do you configure some of this in VR itself? So let me change modes a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and select VR mode. It'll look similar, but slightly different. Let me put on my HMD. Grab my controller. Now I'm, I'm up above this whole scene here. And um, this button uh, atop the trackpad, um, that pulls up this whole menu here on the left controller. And the right controller allows me to select things. And boom, look at that. I can move this object around, do all sorts of cool stuff just with this thing. But um, what I'm gonna do is I wanna get back over to where we were before. Uh, so to do that, I can't teleport. I'm just gonna shrink down this scene. If anybody used tilt brush, it's essentially the same way. I'm just gonna get right over, come up, and then I'm gonna change my scale back down to one as soon as I get in the right space. There we are. Oh, I need to bring it up a little bit. Okay, so we're back where we were. Um, but on this on this item here, I'm going to select Windows and Details. Now, this doesn't look like much. I can grab it, move her around until I select something. There. Now I got the details of this cube here. One thing I want to do, and Unity people might get jealous of this part right here. I'm going to check this cube, and you know what? I want to create a bowling application. So 
Let me change that to a sphere. Ah, look at that. I changed the cube to a sphere. Change the texture into something else. Ah, not cool. We can get even cooler. Let's change it to this hex tile pulse. And there we go. We have a bit of a disco type uh, bowling ball going on. Um, let me check this guy and let me see if I can change him as well. Let's see, a cone, a cube, a cylinder, cylinder works. Oh, pipe, how about pipe? All right, pipe, let me bring him over here. Just pull him right into view. Change the material to, what do we have here? That's cool. Ah, walnut. Oh, that's too dark. Is there an oak? Ah, oak, there we go. All right, now if I'm grabbing this guy and I take my other controller and I also grab it, I can move things around in, in size pretty easily, which is cool. Take this guy over here, move that, bring this guy up. And let's see, let me go back to out. Let's see, is it under edit? Yeah, let me take this guy. Let me snap him to the floor. Do it again. There he is. Now he's directly on the floor. We're going to do the same with this guy. I'm going to move him over here. And snap to floor. There he is. All right. So, and then directly from this mode, I can go ahead and go to tools and play. This directly brings me into the play mode that we were in before where I can go over and interact. So got this here. And there it is. All right. I created a simple little game. That's how it's done. This is how you build VR applications using the Unreal Engine. Totally simple, easy to do. You don't have to install a bunch of plugins. I got to say, like I always say, it's a lot of fun. So um, you guys check it out. Um, I'm Bob Duffy from Intel. See you later.